be ready 5 seconds why did the impugned judgment comma the appellant was convicted for the offence punishable under section 304b and 498a ipc stop why did the order on sentence comma he was directed to undergo rigorous imprisonment for a period of 10 years for the offence punishable under section 304b stop for the offence punishable under section 498a comma the appellant was directed to undergo rigorous imprisonment for a period of 2 years along with fine of rupees 1000 in default whereof comma he was directed to further undergo 3 months imprisonment stop the substantive sentences were directed to run concurrently and the period already undergo was also directed to be set off stop para a total of 9 witnesses were cited as part of the charge sheet comma however comma during trial comma only 8 were examined stop as per the post mortem report comma the cause of death was opined to be shock consequent upon 100% anti mortem flame burns stop the prosecution also examined brothers of the deceased stop the inquest proceedings were proved through the concerned sdm who also exhibited the statements the brothers of the deceased that were recorded by him stop para all the accused persons were examined under section 313 crpc stop the present appellant comma who is the husband of the deceased comma denied having made any kind of demand for dowry or treated the victim with cruelty on account of any such demand stop he further stated that he was a victim of circumstances and a false case was fabricated against him stop the other accused persons also raised similar defense and denied the prosecution case stop para pertinently comma why did the impugned judgment only the present appellant was convicted while the other two accused were acquitted stop concededly comma the state has not challenged the acquittal stop para in the present appeal comma learned counsel for the appellant contended that there was considerable delay in registration of the fir stop it was argued that the said delay along with other instances like omission to mention the name of any eye witnesses created serious doubts upon the prosecution case comma as the said matter could be considered as being a result of deliberation and leveling of false allegations stop para it was next contended that the prosecution had failed to prove that there was any demand of dowry soon before death and that ingredients of neither section 304b nor section 498a were fulfilled stop in this regard comma learned counsel has referred in detail to the testimonies of brothers of the deceased stop para learned app for the state strongly opposed the contention and submitted that the ingredients were established and proved beyond doubt by testimony of brothers of the deceased stop para pertinently comma in so far as the present appellant is concerned comma two major incidents formed the basis for holding him guilty for the offence under section 498a and 304b ipc stop the first incident related to the appellant hitting the deceased with an iron press comma whereas the second incident related to the demand of rupees 10000 made by the appellant stop para while both the brothers of the deceased had deposed that the deceased was hit with an iron press by the appellant comma however comma it must be noted that their knowledge of the incident is hearsay in as much as they were not witness to the said incident stop